All right, kiddos, now this is going to be your second part of the CUBE project, and I wish I would have done this with my other groups of students um, throughout the last nine weeks. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to make different types of cubes and practice the skills you just learned uh, with making this cube. So you'll notice right here at the bottom I have more tabs. So you'll notice one says 50 millimeter cube, that's the one you just made, and then there's going to be a 100 millimeter cube, which you're going to make, and then a 200 millimeter cube, which you're going to make. So take a look at the 100 millimeter cube. You can see that it really looks like four cubes on one side uh, going across the face of this block. All right, and then the 200 millimeter cube is ridiculous. It is really one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So 16 cubes on one side and it's really 16 times one, two, three, four cubes. Um, so what I'm trying to do is give you lots of practice in the program so you feel more comfortable uh, with Onshape and the different skills that you learned in this project. So what I want you to do is learn a couple of new things that I never taught the kids in the beginning, um, which are gonna be very helpful for you. So after you finish this cube, what I want you to do is go down to the bottom left corner and I want you to see the tab that usually will say just sketch one or something along those lines, part studio one. I want you to right click on it and go to rename. And then I want you to type in 50 millimeter cube and then hit enter. So for example, this one says 100 millimeter cube. I'm gonna right click on it, go up to rename and I'm gonna type 100 millimeter cube and hit enter. Same thing with the 200 millimeter cube. I'm gonna go up to rename and I'm gonna say 200 millimeter cube and hit enter. So now I kind of know what these um, parts are that I have created. Now what I'm gonna do and you're going to do after you finish this cube is you're gonna go to the plus sign in the bottom left corner and you're gonna go to create part studio. Now notice it says part studio one. So what you should do is go rename part studio one to a hundred millimeter cube and hit enter. Do what you did in the previous uh, part of this project. Go up to where it says front and left click on the eyeball. Go to the right and left click on the eyeball and then go to where it says the top of the cube and left click. Now I'm looking straight down on the face. I'm gonna left click on sketch. I'm gonna bring my mouse to the plane and I'm gonna left click. Now what I'm gonna do is go to my rectangle tool and get center point rectangle. And I'm gonna come to the origin and when it turns orange, I'm gonna left click once, let go of the mouse, and I'm gonna slide the mouse down to the bottom right corner and left click. Now I'm gonna type in 100 and hit enter without touching the mouse, 100 and hit enter without touching the mouse. And then I'm gonna move the mouse up to the extrude um, button and I'm gonna left click I'm going to come to where it says 25 and I'm going to type 100, hit enter, and then hit check. And now I have a 100 by 100 by 100 cube. So this is four times bigger than the previous cube. Now what I'm going to do is left click on the front face, zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to go sketch and I'm going to left click on this face. So now what I want to do is explain some math to you. In the previous project on the 50 millimeter cube, if you went 25 millimeters across on the top of it, you went halfway across the cube. In this one, 50 millimeters is going to be halfway across the cube. Now notice when my line, when I move the mouse in the middle of the line, you see a symbol that says midpoint. That means you're in the middle of the line, all right? So right here is the middle of the line, so that's called midpoint. We're gonna use that in a minute. So what I'm gonna do now is draw my line across and I'm gonna type 25 because I know that 25 is in the middle of 50. So if I drew a line over to 50, right, I know that 25 back would put me in the middle. So what I'm gonna do now is go down 25 millimeters because again, it's the same thing on this line. This is 100 millimeters and right here is 50 millimeters, and right here is 25 millimeters. I'm gonna draw a circle. Make sure you have a center point circle. And what I'm gonna do is make a 25 millimeter circle and hit enter. 
Okay, so now I've got one circle, but I still need a circle here, a circle here, and a circle here. I'm going to show you three ways that you could achieve this. First way is repeat everything you saw that I just did. Go up to the top right corner, go over 25 millimeters, hit enter, go down 25 millimeters and hit enter, and draw another 25 millimeter circle and hit enter. That's fine. This process will take a while. So I'll keep doing it though just to demonstrate its effectiveness. 25, go up 25, hit enter, draw a circle, type 25 and hit enter. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. Go 25 and then I'm going to go up 25 and I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to draw a circle and type 25 and hit enter. So that that's fine. That was tedious though. I did a lot of drawing and a lot of typing. So I'm going to go extrude, remove, and I'm going to go through all and I'm going to hit check. Now what I want to do is demonstrate another way to do this. So I'm going to rotate to the right and left click on the right. I'm going to left click sketch. I'm going to left click on the face. Now I'm going to, I'm going to start the same process. I'm going to left click with the line go to the top left corner, click and follow across the line and type 25. Now I'm going to go down 25 and hit enter and I'm going to draw a circle and hit 25 and enter. Okay, so we're going to use math to help us. Now I know that if this is over 25 and 25 millimeters puts me in the middle, well, I don't want to draw a circle here because it'll overlap and be in the wrong spot. But if I go another 25 millimeters over, it'll put me exactly where I want to be. So 25 millimeters plus 25 millimeters is 50. So I'm going to go over 50. Now, by the way, do not ever click right now because if you do, you'll never be able to change the line. So I'm going to come out over to here and I'm going to type 50. Another way to look at this is 25 plus 50 is 75 with a remainder of 25, which means that's the same thing as me coming over to here and drawing a line over 25 millimeters. Now I'm going to go to my circle, draw a circle here and type 25. I'm going to repeat the same step but go straight down. I'm going to type 50. I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to type 25. I'm going to do the same thing with the line. I'm going to go straight across 50, hit enter, and I'm going to draw a circle and 25 and hit enter. So this is a more efficient way of doing um, the four circles, but I'm going to go even faster in, in the next option. I'm going to go extrude and I'm going to go remove. I'm going to say through all and I'm going to hit check. The last option I'm going to show you, I'm going to look at the top. I'm going to go sketch. I'm going to click on the face, just like you saw in the previous sketches. I'm going to start just the same way, just the same thing. Left click on the line, left click on the top corner, draw across 25. I'm going to go down 25 millimeters, and then I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm going to type 25. Now, I'm going to teach you about symmetry and about the mirror tool. So this is the mirror tool, and I'm going to teach you about symmetry. If you find the midpoint of the line, you are basically cutting the entire shape in half. So symmetry means that you can fold a piece of paper or the object over itself and it repeats itself or it, it's, it folds onto itself. So in this case, if this is a symmetrical object, which it is, it's a square, we want to take this circle on the left and we want it to mirror or fold exactly where we want it over here. So what I'm going to do is find the midpoint on the line with my mouse when I have the line selected and I'm going to left click on the midpoint and go up and click and stop. Now I'm going to go back and click on the line and I'm going to do it one more time and click on the line and I'm going to go find the midpoint on this line and left click and go to the right and left click. Now what I have is a line that I can select to reflect across. So watch what I do. I go to the mirror tool. I left click on the mirror tool. I want to select this line that's cutting the cube in half this way. So I left click on it. So I want you to imagine now the cube has now been cut in half. 
and then I go left click on this circle right here and it copies it over. Now what I'm going to do is left click on the mirror tool. I'm going to left click again. I'm now going to select this line and then I'm going to left click here and left click here. So that was far more efficient than the other two ways of doing the four circles. I'm going to go extrude, remove, and I'm going to go through all. And I'm going to go check. So now I have this cube made. My last step is to go to chamfer and then left click on each face like you did on the previous one. And now what I want you to do for the last part of this project, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult, is I want you to go down to the bottom left corner and hit plus sign, do another part studio, go rename it, type 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter cube and hit enter. And I, I'm sorry, not 100. I apologize. It needs to be 200. So that's my fault. And I hate it when I mess up in the video, but that's okay. It needs to be a 200 by 200 millimeter cube and hit enter. Your job now is to create this cube. All I did was go 200 by 200 by 200. So draw a 200 by 200 square and then extrude 200. Now a little hint about this one. What I did in the top row is I did exactly like what you saw me in the previous 100 millimeter cube demo. I went over 25 and down 25, drew a 25 circle. I went over 50, drew a 25, went over 50, drew a 25, went over 50, drew a 25. And then what I did next <clears throat> is I came over to this guy and I went down 50 and drew a 25, went down 50, drew a 25, went down 50 and drew a 25. Then what you can do is the mirror tool, draw a line out this way, draw a line out this way, and then you can click mirror. And then what you'll do then is just click and this one will come over to here and blah, blah, blah. And they'll all reflect across. Again, you could go back to the long way, which is just draw 50, go over 50, go over 50 uh, and so forth. Good luck. This is really cool. Uh, I hope you enjoy this project. It'll give you a better understanding of Onshape. Good luck. I'll be there to help you.